Hello everyone, this is Dream Master back again doing the thing, and today we have the Zero X Shot Insanity Manic Blaster. The Manic, very nice. Got this at Walmart for 15 bucks, very nice. Get out the good old knife, then perform surgery. So, the whole point of the Insanity line is insane ammo capacity. That's the whole point. And the fact that all the different blasters in the line combine to form a super blaster. The motorized rage fire, which is the auto turret minigun, is the base. The Mad Mega Barrel is basically just a single shot shotgun that has a giant ring for a uh, drum, I guess. The Manic, which is just a pistol and it fits on the supposedly left side of the blaster, even though you can't see it. And the Berserko is this one. It's like a. What a lot of. Blasters deem to be, uh, uh, I just had a bolt action. Wow, my brain. Anyways, it's not actually bolt action. It's one of them you just pull it back. It's more like a, uh, automatic rifle without the automatic. Let's see. Oh, goody. Just like most new blasters, they're adopting a good old screw these out to get your thing. Love that. So that just wastes my time. Got one of the ammo clip storage clip clip storages, yeah. And Yippee. Then another one. Those are supposed to fit on the Picatinny rails. Someone's probably going to get mad at me because I said Picatinny, Picatinny, whatever, wrong somehow. Even though no one should really care. Let's see. Oh, these annoy me. They waste my time. Then the final one for the uh, grip. We have the blaster out. And then we got a little... Is this an adapter, I guess? Just rip that out. Oh, that's probably how they connect the different blasters. You put it on a, a Picatinny rail and then connect that to the Picatinny rail of another Picatinny rail from a blaster. Very quiet. I like it. How's it supposed to go? This way? I don't think it really matters, does it? Mm. Oh yeah, that just felt awful. Yeah. This looks so disgusting. <laughs> Pull out our, I'm not going to count them. I'll just read it on the box, probably. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times three, twenty-four. So we have twenty-four probably. No. Oh, goody. It's a one-shot blaster. But it does have the really nice uh, darts. I see you're supposed to supply your own darts to completely fill up this, ain't you? Well, I think we, we'll have enough, won't we? Zero wreck shot won't let me down now. They usually always supply enough to fill every nook and cranny of the blasters. Just put all of those darts there. And just kind of fill this garbage up. Oh, I always hate these outside ones because darts just usually fall off. But... They're convenient, I guess, until they fall out. Kind of feels like I'm reloading my, uh, I uh, forgot what it's called, but. Yeah, that gave you all a lot to go off of, yeah. Adventure Force, something or another. It's green. Y'all can just live with that fact. It's green. That's all you need to know. No, we will not have enough. We have enough to fill up a singular ammo holder. <laughs> well, that's just disgusting. But wow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take this off, actually. Some some of them are actually a bit loose, too. Take this crap off. I don't want these on the blaster. Nice to just have laying around, I guess, though. Lay that right there. Why is this one so much worse? I don't know. Oh, yes. Not bad. Pretty nice. And look at that sight. Oh, yeah, I'm really positioning this right, ain't I? Nice. Oh, that is so flimsy feeling. Looks good, though. Hmm. It does have screws, so you can customize... Anything y'all want about it? Try to see. What kind of blaster we got over here? He needs a good, needs a good pick me up. So apparently, the adapter on it won't fit most Nerf rails. It has to be a certain type. Like this weird Amazon blaster has. You can do something like this. Very nice. Well, that's exciting.
Now I want to see how accurate it is. Hmm. Now, just how do I see how accurate it is? Grab an ammo off the ammo holder. Hmm. Can, can y'all see that green dinosaur right around? Yeah, you, this is. See on the clock? Can you see right there? Right about. I'm trying to position it on the screen here in this area. You see him, right? Let me see if I can hit him. I don't know how close that was. Wait, what am I doing? I have like an ammo thing. Hold on. Okay, I got my shooty shooty target target up there. So, let's see if I can actually shoot good. Oh my gosh. Okay, ammo thing, assist me. Here we go. Well, my, my. Can it go on the other way? I would assume so. Yes. Yes, it does. That just looks a lot worse. Wait a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking this off. This entirely impedes my vision. Okay. Nice. Good thing it ain't counting at all. One miss. No, it ain't doing it. I have a feeling it's going to actually be a lot more inaccurate than I think. Do I really want all these littered around my room? It's going to be all of them behind the... Oh. Oh, behind the dresser, ain't it? You know, I'd rather have these in a pile right now, actually. They're a lot more annoying to grab. Wow, I can't even tell if it's just me at this point. Like, it has to be the gun, right? There we go. Maybe I have to shoot under. That was just a rush shot. That wasn't even good at all. A bit to the right. This is going to be fun to clean up.
If y'all want a more concise, easy to understand, and well structured review of the Manic, I'm sure Walcom 772, no, it. Walcom S7. I'm thinking of Coop 772. He retired. Anyways, Walcom S7 is a way better reviewer than me. So I'd go watch his review. Dang! I'd be better throwing them. Is it just me? It can't just be me at this point. Get over here. I ran out of ammo. That was over 30 ammo, I think, or something like that. Probably. Probably. Disgusting. Awful, actually. I cannot even tell if it's just me. Like... I don't think it is, but it, it probably is, but like, pretty trash, pretty trash. I couldn't eat, I couldn't even get the third one. Ooh, other, that dart's just slightly out of reach. You know, it's weird. It is so quiet, normally. And then when you shoot a dart, get over here, dart. I think I found one. When you shoot a dart, it's so much louder. See? Hey, I stuck in the curtain. You can see right there, barely on screen. Just, just to the left or the right of my my hair there. Nice. This trigger is beautiful, though. The grip is just perfect. Hey, wait, actually. There's, like, a spot right here. If you want a little extra hold there. Don't feel half bad. Since there's, like, not a lock on it, though, it's easy to just accidentally just rip off, like... Wow. Very nice. And this can pop out too if you wanted to put it in any one of these holes right here. So you could do something like this. And it does seem like you have to do it. Well, no, you can do it in one of these too. And you can just slightly rotate a little bit. But you could just do that. You can just pop it in there if you wanted. A little bit at least. So you can just. You just put this on and then just swap them out. If you ran out, then you could put it on one of these and rotate it down if you wanted. But it just pops off really easy. You can keep it on the bottom like this and have a little cool looking grip thing. Keep it like that. Looks cool. Have ammo down here. Of course, like it is really easy to to pull it off. Like there's nothing preventing these from just pulling all the way off. You can do something like this. Ow, it kind of stabbed me right there. Where these kind of 
where these kind of meet right here, there's like sharp points. It, it, they're sharp and they're points. Yeah. You know that? You have to put them on the side with the grooves though or they won't go. There's little grooves there. Thank you, camera. Thank you for finally focusing for once in your life. Thank you. I'm going to lose these, like, as soon as I can. Wow. Anyways, with that said, this has been Dream Master, and I'll see y'all next time.